Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a pumpkin spiced cut crease. So if you would like to see how I achieve this look, all you have to do is keep watching. I usually like to start by just prepping my skin and giving it a really good clean. I got this moisturiser from Salon Services online and I actually find it really good. It's totally affordable as well so they're definitely worth looking up. For those of you that follow me on Snapchat, you know that I love rose water. So I usually use it as a toner, but right now I'm just using it to get rid of any excess oils on my face. It's kind of really good for all skin types, so that's worth noting. Now I'm just taking a Rimmel concealer and I'm giving my eyes a really good base um, before I move forward with my cut crease. Generally with a cut crease I find it so much easier to carry out if I've given myself a guidance line. So here I'm taking a brown pencil and I'm just creating that cut crease line over my actual crease. For the next part I'm using a flat brush and a fluffy brush and I'm going to take my chosen colours and work upwards from that guidance line. So here I'm taking a warm pigmented brown on my flat brush and I'm drawing over that line and working upwards to create a good transition. Now I am taking my fluffy brush and a um, pigmented orange and I'm working upwards as well and just blending that out and making sure that there's no kind of blotches or anything like that in between the two shades. Now I'm taking a flat angled concealer brush and my Morphe concealer and I'm just cleaning up that line and making sure that I've concealer packed all over my lid. Um, yeah, I find it just helps when I um, apply the next shade. Now I'm packing a pigmented champagne all over that concealer. Um, it kind of makes sense because I feel like the concealer really helps it to stick and it doesn't shift or print. So yeah, it's definitely worth applying the concealer before you move on to this part. Now I'm just filling in my brows with my Morphe Brow Kit. And I'm just uh, giving myself a nice arch and filling them in, making sure that they're nice and defined. And now I'm just taking a brow gel liner and I'm just blending in my brow hairs um, with my brow structure that I've created. Now I'm just taking my concealer brush again and I'm just kind of defining my brows and cleaning up what I've already done. I find this takes two seconds and it makes any makeover look so much more professional. So it's definitely worth giving yourself a bit more definition with a concealer brush after you've done your brows and your eyeshadow. I just think it's so necessary. Now I'm taking a liquid glitter liner that I actually got in deals for 150 and I wasn't expecting it to be as amazing as it is, but it's really, really good quality. So I'm just drawing it over my cut crease line. And this is where I'm at. Now I'm just doing a general kind of black liquid liner flick and I'm bringing that right over into my tear duct. I don't want to stop it halfway. I want to make sure that it's from the corner of my eye right over to my tear duct. Now I'm just taking my um, mascara and I'm coating my lashes before I apply my falsies. Um, I generally get my falsies off AliExpress and I just want to tell you guys how affordable and amazing um, these lashes are. So these are the ones here and the ones I have on are the ones that have an emphasis on the corner lashes. I just think they're really good quality. They totally suit this look. Now I'm just taking my primer and rubbing it into all of my problem areas. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just taking a wipe and I'm going to clear up the um, eyeshadow that may have fallen down towards my temple or onto my cheekbone. This foundation I actually bought when I was not supposed to be shopping, but it's probably one of my best buys. Um, it's mattifying, which is great. Um, and I, it is a bit dark for me, but I was going on holidays and I didn't want it to be too light for me. So yeah, but it, it blends really well, so I don't need to worry about it really. Now I'm taking my Morphe contour kit 
um, and I'm going to put my light shade on the bits that I want to emphasize and my dark shade on the bits that I want to hollow. I do think that contour is a really personal thing so um, how I do my contour might not be how you want to do yours. Um, in a minute you're going to see me put brown all over my chin and that's just me trying to get rid of it. So you know it is personal there's going to be parts of people's faces you know that they're going to want to emphasize and hide a little bit more than I would or the next person so this is just how I do mine. If you guys would like a step-by-step -step guide on how I do my contour just comment below and I'll make sure to look into it. This is generally how my contour looks before I blend it. Now I'm taking my silk finish Zoeva brush and I'm just going to blend all that out make sure that I don't leave any kind of drastic lines or smudges. Um, I'm going to make sure that it's kind of silky and you know it's blended properly. Now I'm taking a translucent powder by Ben Nye and I'm just setting my contour. The last thing I need is for me to like lean on my face and you know grow a chin or lose a cheek. So Now I'm taking an orange shade for my Morphe blush kit and I'm just going to work it from the apple of my cheek right up on top of my cheek contour. I'm going to blend it really well. I don't want it to be too bright. I just want it to warm my face a little. Now I'm just going to take a nude liner and lip and um, stick and I'm just going to blend them in. Now I'm taking my highlighter, I actually got this in pennies for 5.50, it's probably one of my best buys. And I'm just going to put that on all the bits that I want to emphasize a little bit extra than the bits that I've already emphasized. So my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the brow, arch and my cupid's bow. So the only thing that I did off camera was put a little bit of brown shadow underneath my eye and I also put banana powder underneath my cheek contour just to emphasize it. Um, but yeah, this generally is my finished look. So thank you for watching and if you enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye